So here we go. An elimination game starts with ball one. Five pitch walk to start things, despite the velocity at 73. 3 2. And it's back to back walks to start the top of the first from the hard throwing Williams Morta. He's on the mound in the next half inning as well. Opposite way, left field. Janssen Freitas makes the catch for the first down. And I'm in a hitter's count. Bouncing ball up the middle. Yepes flips and got the force. Throwback to third does not get Isak uh -oh. Martina. First ever home run by an Aruban player here. Line drive center field. Karaskel on a hop. They say it's an out, but appeared to maybe be on a hop. And now Aruba will challenge this again. Get another look at it. Yeah, it clearly hits the ground first before being secured in the glove. Maybe first and third is fair. They're going to say no catch. So without going to video replay, because it wasn't something you could challenge, a run scores for Aruba. It's the right call. They got it right. The one out there right now, Williams Morta, is the only one eligible to pitch today for Venezuela. He does end the first inning. Aruba leaves two and gets one. Bouncer to first at a jumping Henry Cronson. 3 2 to Jesus Diaz. Just misses. And a one out walk and the first base runner for Venezuela down a run in the first. Off the end of the bat into center and it drops down. Arnold Marta was basically in the trees in center, and so that dumps in for a single, and Venezuela's got two on. Had a couple RBI doubles Friday against Mexico. To the backstop, and now it's second and third. Bundled up, eighth pitch, yanks, and Martina kept it around home plate on ball four. Cut and a miss, two gone. 2 2. Swing and a miss. Nagmar Angela pounds the chest and leaves him loaded. The goodie bags had arrived as Williams Morta strikes out Keon Cruz. And Xander Bogarts has a twin, Jair. And the two of them were both great players. Williams Mora with another strikeout. And now we see to these players. Arnold Marta gets hit by the first pitch he sees. A walk, and now there's two on. Like, has made it available. Pulled on a line left field, and a base hit, Aiden Rodriguez. Arnold Marta stops at third, and Aruba's got him loaded with two outs, looking for more. Strike three called. Williams Morta drops in a breaking ball. Fans three in the second, and then Japan and Chinese Taipei as we spread the word about which teams will be moving forward in the tournament. Swing and a miss. Three straight strikeouts for Naivmar Angela. But another guy that has quite the arsenal. Here's a bunt from Jose Perez to Naivmar Angela, and he doesn't get Perez. With the second baseman, Deliano Raven covering. But in all seriousness, yesterday we did see Venezuela continuing to creep towards the plate and get closer and closer, which it makes a pitcher oftentimes uncomfortable, right? Because they have to command the inner half of the plate. But then we saw Japan start to do it a little bit more because they're all already naturally close. And we saw them start getting a closer too. most notably Kanta Iwashita himself, who was pitching in that game, getting frustrated and got much closer to the plate. Swing and a miss. The ESPN team needs to work on its penman. What is there. that? Strike three called. Naivmar Angela bounces off the mound. Come on, give me some tic-tac-toe three in a row. Oh, ball game. <laughs> That's all me, in fact. Perfect location on the heater from Williams Mora. 
JZL Din Muhammad singles to right. Baker Saraga got him. Second day in a row we've seen a 9-3. To me, understanding that you're going to have a chance from right field, you have to know it from the very jump. Swing and a miss. Great breaking balls. Strike three called. Knee-high paint inner half from Nivmar Angela. The loss. Here's a bunt. Angela spins and tumbles and tucks it. A little momentum building in Venezuela's dugout. On the ground to third, gobbled up Keon Cruz, and he will just go to first with it. <laughs> Line drive center field, base hit. Vichedia gets a stop sign at third, and Luis Yepes hits a bolt. Here it is. Got him! Inning over. Ball one call. Was able to get right back in the zone right there. Swing and a miss. And a case strut and a fired up Jose Perez. Hey, ooh, is bye bye in Papiamento. Uh -huh. So that's what Nishan Toledo had in his call. On the ground to Simone Vichetia, who quickly retires the dangerous Nivmar Angela in the three spot. 2 2. On the ground, up the middle. Vicheria ranges right. Got him. One, two, three. First pitch. A one. Back foot the. One, two. One, two. One swing ties it. Two, two. Two, two again. Ninth pitch. Tenth pitch of the plate appearance. In a one run elimination game. The 11th pitch. Line drive to short and caught by Toledo. One away. That's the plan for Elwin Rinconis, the manager. Line drive, right field, base hit, Williams Mora. Tying runs aboard for Venezuela in the fourth inning. Good at bat right there, right after Fretes. He goes right side, right where it came from, right? Not trying to do a lot. Knows that's a big hit to the right side. Give me the bat flip. His 0-1. On the ground, right side. Kronson from his knees. The pick by Toledo. It's short. My father just had to feel it with anybody. Let's go. Had to be. Yeah. Could hear respect in there. The message to Nivmar Angela. A pitching change for Aruba up a run on Venezuela. So those two teams are one win away. They'll meet Wednesday from the U.S. Championship. And then the four teams you see bottom left playing at 3 Eastern and 7 Eastern today. Let it breathe. Swing and a miss. Oh, we got the backpedal K strut. In Venezuela's third game. Roll over and Perez. I got it. One down. Oh, and he's got a little hesitation piece. Did you? Two down. He did. I was a fine umpire. Nice. Comebacker up the middle. Diving stab, Simone Vicheria, but no play. Keon Cruz has a two out single for Aruba. Free couple snacks at the concessions after okay. the game. <laughs> now we know why. Strike three called. <laughs> and look at Luis Perez. Jose Perez should say. This man is an entertainer. Trails. Swing and a miss. Two batters face, two strikeouts for Henry Cronson since entering. 2 2 pitch to Perez. Hits him. Tying run aboard for Venezuela. Another 3 2 pitch. Swing and a miss. Cronson, another K. A hey, biggest moment of the day right here coming out here in this fifth inning. When you talk about good morning, good afternoon, and good night, my man was on point and put three hitters away in the biggest moment. Little sword action. Put it away. Well, Jose the Entertainer is on. And Arnold Marta hits one on the ground to Luis Yepes with a strong arm. Look out. A little giant. One, two. Rafini strikes out, and there's two gone. Two, two. Rodriguez. Diving catch by Perez off the mound. 
He can do just about everything on a baseball mound. Aruba's frustrated with where Joshua Duran is in the box. And again, he is over the boundary. No part of the foot is allowed to be over the line, but when there's no line, it's left to the umpire's judgment. To right field, and it's a base hit, Joshua Duran. Tying run on, winning run to the plate for Venezuela. You'll see corners in on the infield looking for it. He had a bunt single his first time. Bunts toward first, a good one. Rodriguez in the right. Duran to third. Let's check this out again here. And actually, Aiden Rodriguez picked up this ball and noticed that Diliano Raven wasn't quite there at second base yet. Raven actually ran into the first base umpire on the way to second base, but it looked like the ball slipped out of Aiden Rodriguez's hand on that throw. And now Baker Sadiga bunts toward first and fielded foul, they say. A lot going on here. Throw had gone to first to get the out, and the runner from first hadn't left, so they would have had a chance to get two had it been deemed fair. Yeah. And honestly, tough for Bicetti as a base runner at first base because you can't really see whether or not he's about to catch that. And he elects to stay at first base. You see, he starts to go. The ball bounced in fair territory. Right. I think they are making a change mid at bat, not to mention mid inning with their first baseman. Yeah, that's the case. They're going to move Nivmar Angela in from center field and put him at first base. Mid AB with a couple bunt bids from the bottom of Venezuela's lineup. And he's in extremely tight right now, too. They're looking for this bunt again. Baker Sadiga bunts it back to the mound. Kronson tried to get the tag, didn't get it. And the bases are loaded for Venezuela. They chant, si se puede. Yes, we can on the Venezuela side. He did not get the tag. I mean, you talk about contorting your body in a sense to where you're unreachable. And the rule on out of the baseline is you're only out if you're running more than three feet away from the base path to avoid being tagged. He was definitely in the baseline. And a less to avoid interference with a fielder fielding a batted ball. I mean, thank God he ran on the inside part to begin with. Right. Wow. And the star who's been up to 80 miles an hour off the mound, but told us pregame he prefers hitting even more. Bats with the bases loaded. First pitch is down, caroms away to Ron. Tie game. I think you got to consider putting Luis on base here with the base open. They're going to. I agree with you. It's the right call, no question, right? Jesus Diaz, the batter. A one. Another change here. He's going to put a new outfielder into the game. Jaron Bedoya, one of their left-handed pitchers, is going to go in for Jay-Z Eldin Muhammad. Presumably a better arm out there. And an 0-2. 0-2. Diaz strikes out, and there's one away. Loaded up, one out, first pitch. Up high. The 2-0 to 1. Freitas tried to hold up. Did he go? Did he go? Yes, two and two. Two, two. Just outside in a full count. Three, two. Down, and Venezuela has won it. Off the mat and still alive at the Little League World Series. Hi, everyone. I'm Wheels. Thank you for watching the video. If you're enjoying the Little League World Series content, please consider subscribing, which can be done by clicking my logo on screen.
Thanks again, and we'll see you in the next one. One of the best Little League games that I've got to personally witness. Now you can see him giving thanks.